I landed in Iquitos on my way to Alpahuayo Michana. That's also where I'm spending a couple of days before going to Madre Selva. But before entering the city, I make a stop at the Manatee Rehabilitation Center. This is a rescue center for wild animals that were hurt, captured by poachers or sold as pets. For example, they take care of tortoises, wapos, otters or margays. And this is the occasion for me to live a childhood dream by approaching manatees. Once in Iquitos, I have to go to the laundromat ASAP. After almost a month in the forest, my clothes smell like a dead animal. Iquitos is called the capital of the Peruvian Amazon. The Casa de Fierro dates back to the rubber boom when the city was quite rich. Although there is no proof of it, it was supposedly designed by Gustave Eiffel, and it was brought in pieces from Europe. More recently, Iquitos suffered from not being connected by road to the rest of the country, and a lot of beautiful houses from the 19th century are now in ruins. Like Lima, Iquitos is very, very busy. Not with cars, but with motor taxis, whose drivers barely yield at traffic lights. At first, I was shocked at how dangerous it looks, and then it struck me. Almost all streets are one-way streets. Luckily, I arrived for the last parade of Carnaval. This is an important event in Peru, but this party is a bit disappointing. Little do I know that I will have the occasion to celebrate quite intensely in a few weeks. On the Plaza 28 de Julio, the anniversary of the independence of Peru, a tree catches my eye. Ironically, it's a member of the family I studied five years ago, and I know that I would have been happy to include this species in my study. I hop on a moto taxi and go to El Mercado de Belén. Getting swallowed by the flow of people in the market is a unique and very intense experience. The market is packed every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. with a crowd of local people and an impressive diversity of goods. Another motor taxi takes me back to the vicinity of my hotel. I spend time at the Museum of Indigenous Amazonian Cultures. Although small, this is an amazing museum. It showcases a lot of dioramas, artifacts, and information about native cultures. To end the afternoon, I take a stroll on the Malecon Tarapaca. My walk takes me to the artisanal center Anaconda, where local craftspersons sell their art. The Malecon Tarapaca attracts many tourists during the day and a lot of passerbys and street artists during the night. This is a good place to taste local specialties and have a drink with friends to end the night. This is also where I take an early breakfast to enjoy the sunset on the Rio Italia. A few hours later, I embark on a slightly sketchy boat that will take us to the next research station. We leave the port of Iquitos for a 7-hour trip on the mythic Amazon River. Very soon, I will be back in the jungle for a formidable adventure al otro lado del río. <laughs>